out of Big Bear on the right wood. 100 mile stretch this time. And pushing to about mile 280 today. I have about 100 miles to Wrightwood. Um, yeah, super excited to be back out on trail. So there's this idea that I really like. Um, it's called the Fixer's Manifesto. And I really live a lot of my life by it, and I encourage other people to. But there's many different parts, but some of the big ideas is that a fixed thing is a beautiful thing. Um, that disposability is a choice, not a inherent quality. Um, that, you know, doubling the life of your products um, actually halves what goes into the landfill. And just basically being a more responsible consumer. Um, so I'm doing some repairs. I stopped early today. Um, but like these shoes, for example, you know, they've probably got six, 700 miles on them. And uh, I had to do quite a bit of repairs uh, to make them last. Uh, but they're beautiful, I think. Like having these stitches and fixes and stuff like that. Uh, you know, this big rip here, that happened uh, within the first 70 miles, um, given I've put probably 700 miles on these shoes at this point. Um, and like things like my merino wool, um, this is already an old shirt, but it's got some holes in it. Um, doing San Jacinto and going all the off-trail stuff, I mean, my gaiters already got holes in them. Like, you know, I'm pretty hard on gear, but um, taking the time to repair the stuff not only saves money, saves the environment and that, you know, new stuff isn't having to be made as often and um, I like the idea that every repair, whether skillfully done or DIY, tells a story. So I'm going to be spending my afternoon here uh, fixing some gear. So today, uh, pushing uh, for about a 19 mile day. So I gotta climb over these logs. <coughs> Joys of being in the forest with a bunch of downed trees. Um, pushing for about a 19 mile day and uh, that'll put me about eight and a half from Deep Creek Hot Springs, uh, which is a place that I've been excited to go get to, I think since I started the trail, or before I started the trail. It's about noon and I'm 12 miles in for the day, maybe a little over, and getting to this river that's been taunting me for a while for lunch pretty soon. Uh, chilling, get my feet soaked, and then continue on about a seven more miles today. We tried to build a bridge. It didn't work. say if you don't work hard, uh, you're going to live in a band down by the river. I did that before. Now I'm just living under a bridge down by the river. It's pretty great. It's day 23 and today's a day I've been super excited for since I started. Uh, we're currently at mile 299, and about 8 miles is Deep Creek Hot Springs. Alright, we just passed mile 300. Katie's out here joining me for Deep Creek. So we've got, I think, like 6 more miles to go to the Hot Springs. Day 23, 
and I'm at about mile 310. Uh, we had an awesome day at Deep Creek yesterday. Fishing for a 22 mile day today. Um, supposedly there's a campground that has electrical outlets, so get stuff charged up because uh, I'm kind of running low. So. Beautiful day today. I'm about three and a half hours into the day and just shy of 11 miles. So, pushing real hard, been doing some trail running. It's been an awesome trail today. It's about 2.30 and I pushed a little over 18 miles today. This is my first break and I found this awesome little beach pavilion shelter picnic table thing. So, hanging out here for probably an hour or so and then push on another 3.6 I think to get to camp tonight. It's day 24 or 25, I don't remember. Uh, lose track of time out here. But it's a beautiful day today. Kind of cloudy, kind of cold, but we're running through this super green um, hilly area. It doesn't look like the desert at all. I think we came over the mountain and got out of the desert desert and now we're on the cloudy side of stuff. So uh, pushing a 19 today, 17 tomorrow, and then 6 into Wrightwood. Definitely back on the desert side of the mountain range. So cool, the changes in landscape out here and how low the clouds are today. About 4 p.m. and I made it to camp. Um, ended up doing uh, 19, a little over 19 trail miles, uh, 20.5 total miles today to get Subway. Uh, so had a foot long at the restaurant and packed a foot long out. Uh, gonna chill here and hide from the wind. Uh, it's been crazy today trying to blow me off the cliff, uh, but it's been a fun day. Good morning. It is day 25 and it's going to be an interesting one today. Um, today is the last big push into Wrightwood. Uh, tomorrow we'll just be doing 6 in. Uh, today I'm doing a little over 17. Uh, it's all uphill, like 5,000 feet of climbing. And there's no water from uh, where I just left camp to mile 17. So I got a big water carry today. Highway way, way down there. That's where I came yesterday. And today climbing up and over the mountains. This is the climb that never ends. Just goes on and on, my friends. 5,000 feet, 17 miles. It goes on and on and on. So I found out we're headed towards Baden Pass, which is probably not there, but probably looks pretty close. Uh, it's gonna be San Jacinto 2.0 um, for about 10 miles. So the day after Warner Springs, we hit that hard. Should be fun. <laughs> First water in 17 miles. I had to climb down this stupid steep uh, descent to get to it, but that water again lasts me till tomorrow. Three hundred and seventy three miles down, two thousand two hundred and seventy seven to go. Going into a massive climb right off of a resupply. It's exhausting. Straight up the mountain with like 40 pounds worth of gear. Five day soup food supply this time.
<laughs> so originally I was going to do an easy day, just get over that first pass, um, do like 10 miles, but everyone else has decided to do 12 or 16 today. So this is the rest of my day. You gotta climb over this mountain and then we'll sleep in the next parking lot. One of my favorite parts of the day, where I see camp. Uh, today's been a really difficult day as far as elevation goes and snow goes, but it's been a really re rewarding day. Um, it's been a lot of climbing and stuff. Uh, one thing that's really cool is like these roads, a lot of them are closed off um, from snow and so we're kind of the only ones out here. It's really cool. Here's our first long road walk. Uh, about three miles to save some frogs. So today is a very exciting day for many reasons. Uh, first off, today is my one month trail anniversary. Um, it's been a crazy month. It's gone by so quick. Uh, the second reason is today I'm hitting mile 400. And uh, also we had some awesome trail magic this morning from some hikers from last year. And so packed out a couple beers, uh, having a good lunch at mile 400, and Cinco de Mayo celebrating Mexican beer. Cheers! This last month has gone by super fast. Uh, and really grateful to be out here. Um, really feel very fortunate to kind of have the freedom to do this kind of thing. It's 6.45, which means time for all the hikers to go to bed. About two hours into today, and we've made it 5.2 miles so far. Uh, I've noticed that bad weather definitely makes me push harder. Uh, today, this first five miles have been just all climbing. Um, but made it up really quickly. People say I live my life with my head in the clouds. They're not wrong today. So it's about 11 a.m. and I'm at mile 12 for the day. Um, pushing pretty hard today. I've learned that bad weather makes me walk very, very fast. So uh, if it stays like this, I may be in Canada next week. So back in Mission Creek, I thought I ran through a bunch of poodle bush. Turns out it wasn't, but this is what poodle bush actually looks like. And we've got a bunch of it for the next 35 miles. Finished a bit of a break and some lunch. Uh, I got to lunch spot at about two o'clock. Already done 18 and a half for the day. Um, so the bad weather's definitely motivating to book it. Uh, doing about another five and a half, making it a 24 mile day today. Um, a lot bigger than I thought, but there's not really a whole lot of good campgrounds around here. And that'll set me up for a couple of easy days into Agua Dulce. This has definitely been a pretty difficult section. Um, you can see all the mountains out there. Uh, we came from pretty much straight that way up and over every single one of them. Uh, it's been a lot of roller coaster up and downs. Uh, but pretty soon, next 24 miles, we'll be dropping down to I think around 3,500 feet and then hang out there for a while. So that'll be nice. Just crossed 20 miles by 3.30. Doing pretty good today. Made it to camp. Uh, 24 miles done today in less than 10 hours. Uh, so booking it pretty good. Looks like it's going to be a real wet, cold night again. Ready to get back down into the desert. It is day 32, and I'm back on trail. And today's going to be another big day. Um, I'm pushing for a 25-mile day to get into Hiker Heaven in Agua Dulce. Um, originally, I was going to split this up into two days, but there doesn't seem to be any real 
like good spots um, to kind of break it up naturally. Uh, so might as well just push in, take a full zero tomorrow, and then probably get back on trail Thursday. It's always incredible to me, like being able to climb up above the clouds. Look at that. about noon right now and I think I'm close to 13 miles in for the day. Uh, it's been a really cool day today just doing these ridge walks. Uh, not too terribly hot uh, but tons of flowers, tons of butterflies. It's like one of those sunshine and butterflies sort of days. I think being out here and not having much um, gives you an opportunity to be really grateful for little things. Uh, so today, I'm very grateful for ramen noodle burrito, a little picnic table, and this great shade structure. Um, that's something that I wouldn't have thought twice about in normal life, but it absolutely made my day today. Agua Dulce, mile 450 just on the other side of that highway and today we'll make my biggest two-day average at just under 50 miles. Uh, maybe too early to say it but I think the hiker legs are pretty close. And I have a new favorite game out here and it is following these lizards and trying to keep them on trail as long as possible. I'm doing pretty good at this one. Oh. going this may be a new record out oh, there we got lost <laughs> you got to do something to entertain yourself some days getting so close <laughs> I am so excited to get to Agua Dulce and Hecker Heaven and just like I have a resupply box there and there's a grocery store it probably has beer Apparently there's cots and laundry, and <laughs> just so very grateful uh, for today and for being able to do these big crazy pushes and being back in the desert desert for a little bit. See that I've been thinking about today is, um, you know, I'm at mile about 450. Uh, I'll end a little over that today which means I'm less than 300 miles away from Kennedy Meadows and the Sierras. Uh, so I can't help but kind of think, what is this next chapter? And uh, it's crazy how fast like the desert has gone by. Um, it seems like just yesterday I left and now I'm almost through it. Um, gonna be pushing bigger miles, I think. Get there early um and see what happens from there uh this year's pretty bad snowpack um so i don't know if i'll be going straight through or if i'll be flipping but it's something that's definitely on my mind these days Creepy murder tunnel to get to Agua Dulce. Trekking past the historic Star Trek film site. Um, apparently there's a bunch of movies that have been shot around here. Made it to Agua Dulce. Just hit up the general store. Got some eggs and tortillas and veggies. My mouth is literally drooling as I do this last mile to Hiker Heaven and to a proper kitchen. I'm so excited. <laughs> the end of this chapter, and thanks for watching. Uh, next stop is Tehachapi.